Morning, everyone. Um, ah, man. I meant to do like a cool special effect, so there it is. Um, yeah, hello. If somehow you're stumbling across this channel, like randomly, um, because you're in some kind of YouTube black hole, then I'm Tommy Fielding and I'm an amateur motorcycle racer. And this is going to be summing up my 2021 season, what I'm going to do in 2022. Yeah, that's it, really. Um, so, reflecting on my season as a whole, it wasn't bad. Um, actually, get my cup of tea. Yeah, it wasn't a bad season. Um, I mean, obviously, looking back, there's plenty of things I could have done differently. Main thing being staying on the bike. So, I didn't have too many crashes. I had three, um, which I don't think is too bad, really. But, ideally, I would have less than that. So, that's three in a race. And then I had one at the very beginning part of 2021 um, at Cadwell it started snowing and it was actually early April but because the race season had been pushed back I'd missed out all the track days so this was the first track day I was doing it, and it was one week before the first round so I was pretty desperate just to get the laps in so even though it started snowing and everyone pulled in at the, at the mountain I was like nah I need to go around anyway I found myself at the hairpin a little bit of throttle on the way out not with the left hand, with the right hand, obviously. Um, and the back, yeah, it stepped out a little bit, and I was like, "Ooh, it's definitely slippy." And then, so I, you know, had I had slowed down. Obviously, it's really cold. Um, and then going into barn, just as soon as I saw it turned in, the back end just broke loose. Uh, and then high sided me off, ended up tearing all ligaments in my shoulder, which definitely hampered me for the first beginning of the season. And I can still feel it now when I'm doing my bits of training and stuff um, so at the moment I'm just trying to build my strength rather than lose the weight which obviously you know I can lose the weight beginning of next year when I start doing Eden's training uh, thing if you don't know Christian does uh, like a boot camp type personal trainer thing on Facebook uh, it is mint and I think it definitely contributed to me being a lot better in 2021 when I was in 2020 just the fitness uh, and being you know able to still push in the last few laps so if any is uh, racing and you don't do much fitness stuff I would definitely recommend it it made a big difference for me and um, whilst we're speaking about fitness stuff my sponsor XSI um, who are actually my only sort of real sponsor going into 2022 um, they sell all kinds of equipment. I mean, I've got some scattered around this room at the moment, which I may as well show you, I suppose. Uh, so we've got like, you know, just weights. Um, it's got they do like a fixed weight as well, which I prefer weights like that. Um, kettlebells, slam balls, and then in them cupboards I've got some like resistance bands and stuff. Um, so if you're after any fitness uh, equipment, and then you go on the website, link will be in the description, and there's a discount code TOMMY556, where you get 10% off, so pretty decent, and yeah, they are a big help for me, and I couldn't do it without them. Obviously, such a cliche, but I definitely couldn't. Um, if there's anybody else who'd be interested in sponsoring me, obviously I've got my social media channels, my YouTube, you know, whatever, I'll always do my best to try and represent the brand or the company um yeah so if anyone's interested just you know don't hesitate to get in touch so if we actually just talk about what happened in 2021 after my crash at cadwell first round was at donnington um yeah bit of a slow start of the year again i don't think it helped that i was struggling like a lot with my shoulder um having only crashed like the weekend before damaged all ligaments and things uh went to Wilton Park again not too bad. I think I had a second, a third and a fourth, something like that. Um only three races at Wilton Park. Then season sort of got going and went to Cadwell. Uh, I was feeling really strong and I think I actually led all the races. Um although I didn't actually win one, which was a bit of a shame. One of them I got really bad arm pump because my leathers were too tight around my forearms. Or at least that's what I'm blaming. So I had them altered after that anyway, now went back to my old leathers for the rest of the meeting and it was much better. Um, next round, Croft, so I went really well there. Um, 
I, unfortunately, I didn't get a win, but I followed the leader home inside of a second twice. Um, yeah, and that, but I had a high side as well. Then went to Anglesey, glorious weather, got my first win. Should have had two wins, but there was a red flag when I was leading by a decent margin. Then in the rerun, I just didn't, yeah, couldn't shake Woodcock. He was all over us like a tramp on chips. Um, so he got past me on the last lap. We Neither of us actually knew it was the last lap. There was a bit of a mix-up with the flags because um, we're going through the back markers and stuff. So, But, yeah, non, nonetheless, it doesn't really matter. Um, then went to Donington. I was a little bit unlucky there, I would have said. I think I got a third in the first race. Yeah, I did. Got a third in the dry. Um, then the rest of the races were wet. And I crashed in one of them. One of them I was in second, but it was red flagged and it went back to the result as we crossed the line, which I was in third. And then another one I was second. Um, so it wasn't too bad, but obviously I lost points there. So going into the final round at Cadwell, it was possible that I could win the championship. Um, but... You know, it didn't happen. It would have took something on the other guy's behalf, you know, in order for that to happen, basically. Um, so I ended up coming away third in the championship, um, which, you know, is pretty good. Like, uh, like like you'll know if you're a viewer of the channel. This was, like, my first sort of full season racing this year. Last year, I did the f full season, but it was only four rounds. Um, so I've probably only done... I don't know, 14 rounds or something, 14 rounds of racing. Um, yeah, so it's not a lot really. Um, then after that, me and Steve-O decided we were going to do an endurance race. So we did the eight hours at Bronzach. Now, neither of us had ever ridden a motorcycle for longer than 20 minutes. So to go and do, you know, 45, 40, 45 minute stints, which is about as long as the fuel tank lasts, was a big ask. And we had to do so many stints. Um, it wasn't actually 8 hours, it was about 6 hours 40 minutes or something like that and because there was a lot of fog this was like sometime in October <laughs> might have been like I don't know mid-October I would guess it was um, and we actually got up to as high as 5th place overall on a on our like 600s um, which you know was really good we ended up finishing 2nd in class uh, after I had a little bit of a tip off um, and a couple of red flags meant we were losing a lap each time that happened. But all in all, fantastic experience. Uh, I don't know if we'll do another one. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to see. I want to concentrate more on sprint racing, really. Um, and that was it. And then finally, we managed to, me and Steph, managed to get married. Hence, I've got a ring on my hand. Uh, our wedding was absolutely amazing everything we could have hoped for it was third time lucky thanks to covid as lots of other people have had to post postpone their weddings as well um which is yeah that's a bit of a naff situation and if anyone's trying to get married all i would say is that it'll come good in the end at least i was did anyway then we actually managed to go on a honeymoon as well to mexico which again was absolutely fantastic um yeah it was amazing. Didn't want to come home. However, when I got home, I had a new job to start as well. So it's been all changed for me since the season finished. Um, and I work for Hitachi Rail, um, designing trains and stuff, which obviously is pretty cool, really. Um, also working for a big company like Hitachi, obviously they're like worldwide. Um, they're, there's a lot better benefits, better holidays, you know, stuff like that, which will help with my racing. Uh, going into 2022 and if we look at 2022 which we've got on the wall planner surrounded by the terrible wallpaper which I'll try and get rid of between Christmas and New Year since I'm off work now um, but I'm not making any promises we'll find out in the next video so if we look at it uh, in the yellow we've got like two tractors at Cadwell there and then we've got uh, round one at Snetterton so yellow is all no limit stuff Orange, that's Thunder Sport. Blue is the BSB, and then green is where I'm taking the holidays. Um, so for 2022, I also plan on doing some British Super Sport rounds, um, probably two, and they'll be the first round at Silverstone, which comes only one week after I race there with no limits, which is obviously ideal. Um, and then 
the round on the August Bank Holiday at Cadwell Park, which I then go and race there a weekend after for no limits. I think they'll give me the best chances of you know having a reasonable showing. So I'm really excited for that. Um, yeah, obviously, I mean, arguably British Super Sport is what second highest level of super sport racing in the world you would probably argue so to be on that grid is amazing how well I'll do I don't know obviously the teams at the front are spending an insane amount of money uh, that's in super sport and superbike and thousands super and for, to be on that grid you spend a lot of money um, I spend a lot of money to do it just you know not in the same kind of level so I know what my goals are um, but I won't share them with you we'll just see what happens when I get there um, but yeah, I don't think I'll be last, which is the most important thing. I mean, I could be, I could fall off or anything, but hopefully I don't. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. As I... Oh, so, well, there's actually only two things left to do this year. Um, number one, it's a 24th of December now. So Santa's due any moment. Uh, I think he's going to come, like, tonight, stroke tomorrow. So I'll just keep your eyes peeled for that because he's probably going to drop you off loads of like, you know, nice motorcycling equipment, bits for your bikes, all stuff like that, which is obviously mint. And then following on from that, I've got a, my final race of the year, which is on the 30th of December. Um, I'm doing the Moped Mayhem at Teesside on a pit bike this time. So I've done it pre like years ago um, on more like a road legal style 90cc four stroke jobby um, whilst I was making this video I went through my hard drive to find some pictures and things to drop in and I actually found some footage from 2016 when I did moped man so just dropping it in now this was 90cc four stroke and as you be it had like you know tyres on this fat that were road legal as you can see there's like ice and snow all over the track so the grip was minimal and the other bikes around us were definitely faster. We'd sort of qualified a bit better than we should have, really. Um, obviously, you can't see how many bikes is there, but I think it's limited to 60. I think we qualified 26th. I mean, that's as good as my memory gets, but yeah, as you'll be able to see, it's pretty dodge. Although, on the pit bike, it should be a lot safer and faster. <laughs> Me and my teammate, uh, who done the pit bikes, we both ride for the Legwork North East uh, pit bike hire team. Uh, as the name suggests, you can hire the pit bike. So if you've ever seen any of my vlogs or videos and you thought, oh, I don't mind having a crack at that, um, yeah, g give me a message or whatever. Say you want to have a go. Um, obviously, Teesside's the best place to try it out because that's a local track, um, which is in Middlesbrough. Uh, yeah, and you can have a go. Obviously, it's a really good laugh. It's good for sort of winter training. I mean, at the Moped Mayhem, um, there'll be there'll be quite a few riders from the British paddock there, um, all trying to. Well, it's just something to do in it. It's a bit of a laugh between Christmas and New Year. Um, yeah, so we were riding the one forty, um, and we're looking forward to it. It should be very cold, probably wet, sketchy. Um, all of the above. However, it'll be it'll be a good crack and something I look forward to. I might vlog it. I might not. Um, just see what happens. See what I can be bothered. So all that remains for me to do is wish you a merry Christmas and a happy New Year. Um, hopefully, 
If you're watching this video, you subscribe to the channel and you'll be able to come along with me on my 2022 journey, which, as I've said, will involve being in the, uh, well, if my entry gets accepted, which I would think it would do, um, in the British Super Sport paddock or British Super Bike paddock. Uh, I'll be there, which is quite surreal, but yeah, you'll be able to follow me along on that journey, which I think should be quite exciting. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Ciao.